this is Angie. Welcome back to another video on the tarot. As you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to show you how to customize each color for your annotation and highlights. How exciting is that? So first you will need the latest version of the tarot. So you just Google it and then download from here. And then you can download the Zotero 7 for Windows or Mac. I'm not sure how to download for Windows actually. So you can have a look oh, here. So you can download the for Windows as well. So you can have a look there. Once you have the software downloaded and then you will want to download the Zotero style, which is a plugin that maximizes the ability of Zotero. Actually, I feel like the Zotero is not that convenient without any of the plugins. So how you download this um, plugin is from the GitHub and then you just uh, search here the Zotero style and you can have a look at uh, this plugin. Uh, it's quite comprehensive and it even has uh, in Zotero 6 version, which is the latest version. Uh, I did have a video on that previously, so feel free to check it out. Um, yeah, so this is not the main focus of the video. So next we move on to how to customize these highlights. So these highlights are very important for me as it does save some save time and it build a comprehensive system for me to know which is which. It is such a mind-blowing feature to, you know, customize these and build a comprehensive system and it's super, super, super useful for writing and, and reading. And as you can see here, reading this book and it's locked because I highlighted these in, in PDF file and then I just drag it here. So these are all in yellow and I really really wish I know these features know this feature before so what you do is to go to Zotero settings and then drag to styles I remember when I first installed that show annotation color name is not on so you want to make sure that it's ticked um, and then you can just close that window what you do next is to do shift and P. Oh, I already have it here. So, all right. So this is what you should have. Oh, here. So you will see the annotations here. Um, and then you just click on it and then you just select any of the number, uh, any of the colors, sorry. So you just select any of the colors and then press it on for two seconds. And then now it will show like general dot yellow and then you want to change it to whatever you want. Um, yeah, and then color code them and then you'll be fine. You will have your own system. And I hope I didn't change any. All right, cool, it's still there. So I give it a go and see if it works for you. And what you do next, you would want to show your annotation colors here as well. I think this is really, really, really cool. So what you do is to right click and then show annotation. So take that. It actually has a lot of features like what you want to show on, on, these, um, on these bars. And then you can show more columns as well. But I feel like the title, the year, the author, Dates added, it's not that important, but it just gives you an idea of how long ago you edit this um, document. And then reading status is quite a cool feature as well. You can choose like it's new or not reading or etc. like that. And then for annotation, so you can choose the column settings and then you select this sliding bar at its maximum and then just do set. And you will see your annotation, like the highlights. If you have um, purple coatings, this is a very, very long document. So I think the purple coatings or other color coatings might not appear here. 
but for a small document it may do it may do but i think it's a very very cool feature so check it out and exciting to hear your feedback and that is all i want to share today thank you so much bye